one because all that matters truthfully is what God thinks of you. Like I really want y'all to get that through y'all's gold piece right now. But I'm about to fill up my Stanley. Both of you said no. You're both lying. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm doing today it's called um, a weekend vlog I never do weekend vlogs I always do week long ones so I wanted to give you guys just a weekend we're gonna do Saturday and Sunday so it's probably gonna be short don't shoot me in the comments but it's not gonna be two hours I know that yeah I just got out of the shower I'm about to hurry up and get ready I already brought my um, what I'm doing I'm getting ready to go out for the day I don't know exactly what what I'm doing but I know I'm getting my nails done things Things like that. Oh, it's in my car. I'm about to say, I don't have my clothes. It's in my car. So I gotta put on other clothes to put on my real clothes. So I'll come back to you guys when I have my clothes. I literally was struggling at the mall yesterday. I could not find no clothes. I was in there for like an hour and some change, which is too much, too long for me. But I finally ended up just picking something. It wasn't what I was going for, but it's still gonna be cute. So I'm gonna go get that stuff out of the car and then put it on and then I'll come back. Hi hey guys, so I got my clothes. I don't have my shirt on. It needs to be um, steamed, but I think I am going to go, I'm not think. I'm about to just do my makeup real quick, and then I'm going to be pretty much ready, and then I'm going to do my hair, or take my thing off, but I want to do my makeup first. I already got my lashes on because I do my own lashes. It's been on my eyes for about three days now. Mm -hmm. I bought some jewelry yesterday from H&M. If you guys want to see me shopping, that's in my last week vlog, so y'all can go see that. It should have came out on Monday. Please tell me it was out on Monday. Please. Today should be like Wednesday. I think this come out on Wednesday. And then on Friday, it's a sit-down. I lied. Here I am steaming my shirt. I want to see because it's leaving like wet marks so I was just gonna do it and I think it's working it's just taking a lot longer all right I'm done so it's all it's way better than before it's not as straight as it could be but it's a flowy shirt anyway so I'm not gonna put it on because I really am interested to see what it's gonna look like so give me a suck on all right so here it goes I for sure need a bra y'all like not even a game but I think it looks really cute. It looks really classy and grown with my bag. Oh, yes, I love it. And then I'm going to have this jewelry on and put these earrings in. So, yeah, Stephen the Girl's classic grown. See, see? Mm-hmm. That's what it's given. And, yeah, I'm just going to keep it how it is and take my bob down. <laughs> but I am going to go get a bra. I'm going to get a bra um, when we leave because this is a no-no. Um, I don't know where I'm going to get one from, but I'm going to get one. again today like I did the other day in my last vlog <laughs> but I'm about to fill up my Stanley that's what I'm calling it even though it's not a Stanley but... so I have to drink six bottles a day and this cup's supposed to be half of my intake so I'm about to put three bottles it's my last ready guys right, so I'm not in the car I came in the car and I got some flowers. Look at it. I love these. These are super cute. I love how bright and nice these are. These are super cute to me. And then I also got a card. Wait, let me show y'all. Y'all gotta see the correlation. So it's yellow and it says thanks and it has a banana. This is the inside set. I think that that's such a cute card. It's so nice and thoughtful, and I feel well. Well, it's not. Yeah, it's. I like the thought behind it. It's super cute. And now we are about to go out on a um, something. I don't know what it is. It's like a surprise or something. It sounds like a psychic, <laughs> but I don't want a psychic. Well, yeah, it's a couple's. He can say a cust. What you say? A couple's bonding experience. Couple's bonding experience. 
So if I had to think about what a couple would do in this bond game, I don't know. But we'll see. I will let you guys know what we've got going on. And this is my mini little quick little weekend vlog. Oh, I never showed y'all my fit. So I'm going to show y'all my outfit soon. My nose is burning. I'm cold. I have not ate. It is 320. So, you know, I'm definitely a lot hungry. But I think I look cute, y'all. The model me is coming out. Not even the model me. The who I want to be for the rest of my life is coming up and out. Because y'all know I'm getting my hair straightened every four months to keep my ends cut so that it could actually grow. Because that's how you grow your hair out. You don't just grow it out by not cutting it and not wearing it. Grits. Mm -hmm. So what do we do? We just going to come late? Yeah, yeah. They taste me late. <laughs> don't worry about it. But yeah, so that's all. That's all. That's my little mini update. I'll talk to y'all later because I know I, I like to talk too much. So I'll talk much more later. It's real funny. We at this like neighborhood house type thing. I'm scared, y'all. He said something we never did before. And it's like a, well, let me not show her how it It's like a lady's house and she wasn't home, but now she's home. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. You can release now. So uh, same thing here. If I can just have that hand and you can just put your, your hand out, I'll put these on your fingers. Mm -hmm. So same thing, this is measuring conductance. And if I can just have that one as well. That was crazy, oh bro. I ain't never did it, oh bro. That was crazy. I don't ever want to do it again. If I like, huh? I don't want to do it ever again. Yeah, this is um That's cool. a good experience. <laughs> So I got this. Yeah, it's definitely different. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I have an idea. What's the idea? I want to experience this. Whose idea was this? Like, huh? Whose idea was this? It was my idea. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. I, had it, I had it in my notes for a minute. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do is also the same thing. If you can just put your arm out, like you put your palm up, like you're getting blood. And just slip your arm through there. That's gonna just that's gonna sit just right right there. Uh -oh. It'll I'll, I'll fix it up once I once I pump it up. Okay. You're more hydrated than he is. Really? Yeah. She just got done drinking. I should have brought mine. How do you know? I can tell by um your your um, conductance. That's crazy. The more hydrated you are, the more conductant you are. Mm. Okay, if you could just take a big breath in for me. And big breath out. Great. Okay, we're good to begin. Okay. This portion of the test is about to begin. Please do not move. Regarding your relationship, do you intend to answer each question truthfully? Yes. Did you drink any fluid today? Yes. Prior to meeting, have you ever lied to someone you love to avoid being in trouble? Yes. In the past year, have you ever looked up an ex online? Yes. In the past year, have you ever lied about your location? No. Prior to meeting, have you ever told a lie that if the person found out would break their trust? Mm, yes. In the past year, have you ever cheated? No. Do you see yourself spending the rest of your life together? Yes. In the past year, have you ever flirted with someone else? No. Prior to meeting, have you ever cheated on a person who loved you? Yes. Are you currently sitting in a chair? Yes. This portion of the test is almost over. Please don't move yet. Are you currently in Georgia? Yes. We're done. Hi. How are you feeling? Good. Good? Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. Both telling the truth. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Um, for the second question, the second question was, in the past year, have you ever lied about your location? Mm -hmm. Both of you said no. You're both lying. <laughs> 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 what? If that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, you barely even ask me where I am. Maybe I lied about being on the way. What out of heck? He said, "They swear." I'm scared.
now. No, that's crazy. That's actually crazy. Do you lie? No. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> so for the third question, the third question was in the past year, have you ever cheated? Uh, you both said no. You both passed. Okay. However, I could see that you were both a little bit nervous. So there was a little bit extra, a little bit extra conductance and perspiration. Exactly. But given the question, it's quite a normal question. But you both, you both passed in that question. Okay. He went in the halfway sweat. You were the sweat for that question. They were. They were they all uh, do you see yourself spending the rest of your life together? You both responded with yes, and you both were telling the truth. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the last question was, in the past year, have you ever flirted with someone else? You said yes. You passed. You said no. It doesn't look like you passed. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let me go through the past year. Mm -hmm. So last January count. Yeah, I guess it's within the past within the past twelve months. Okay. But it could be maybe, maybe it could be something where like maybe like someone floated with you. And, and I like replied. You didn't, you didn't really float back. Maybe that can also that can also count as well. I never deliberately flirted with nobody. No. Yeah, so there's a big difference between like intentionally and then things like that. Hey, so I don't know. I'm pretty sure I put it in there somewhere. The whole little lie detector thing. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was the surprise. And now we're back home. Well, I'm back home. He's in a reading. We're about to go camping. It is 7.30, but we have to work out. I don't know, but... <laughs> Today was a good day. We went out to eat afterwards. We went to this. Well, I don't want to tell y'all. Should I say it? Um, I am going to share it another day. <laughs> I want to enjoy it a little bit. A little bit more. I want to eat there at least another time to see if I actually really, really, really like it. Or was it just that one time thing? But I'm going to start packing uh, a bag for our camping. All the stuff we need. I went on Pinterest and just looked up camping essentials because they know more than I do. They they talking about seasoning and stuff, but we only we only gonna be there for a few hours. We're not doing a real full out camp, I don't think, cause we're not cooking. We don't need you no know, salt and pepper, olive oil, sugar and cinnamon. People be camping for days, so we're gonna be sleeping on the floor. I'm gonna get my onesie, cause I need to stay warm. Get my onesie. So I'm gonna wear my Christmas onesie on top of all the other stuff. So, underwise, I think it says sleeping bags, lantern, light, headlamp, pillows, bug repellent. Let me get that. We need off, 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 off. So, here's my off spray. I don't like, I don't like mosquito bites and stuff. Like, when I go out the country, that's one of my least favorite things is the bug bites. I'm going to bring Hazel's hoodie, too, because she's coming. I don't know where my um crap's at. They gotta they gotta be in the office, but he in there, he's reading, so um what else we got? Some pack and then I got pillows. And then we just need like what we're gonna eat. We're gonna eat tonight. Alrighty, here we are with one one eye. <laughs> um I am not we did not go camping clearly as you can see. It got way, 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 way too late. So we're still here. Um, today, tomorrow is my relaunch for her influence, but it will now be called the influential CEO on Instagram. So if y'all are really interested in making money online, I have things this time that will make you money almost instantly, depending on how you apply it. And I'm so, 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 so excited, um, for people to really implement what I have. So if you are interested, the link will be down below. It'll be ready for everybody. And I'm super excited. I got to get all that together. Like, I want to go ahead and get the domain. Uh, I want to go ahead and change the Instagram name. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do the legal stuff so nobody can take it or anything like that. So that's what we got going on. I also have to edit this video. I'm gonna edit it myself. And then I have to start a new vlog tomorrow. Oh, it just stuck on my face. Hazel's outside. Hazel tore them lines up when she was a baby. Like, Hazel really just now, really, for real, is getting into her adulthood. But yeah, I just really just gotta get my website all set up. And here goes 75 Heart. Started over already. Oh, well, not started over. It's day 27, baby. Today it's 27. Your girl is really out here doing stuff. People. Ooh, you ain't gonna get into it. I just love, honestly. I absolutely don't feel a way at all. Um, I can't even sit here and lie. Like, I'm not lying. Like, I promise you, I feel absolutely nothing. I feel giggles. <laughs> I think that is funny. I think that the internet is a funny, funny, funny place. And I think that some people really, like, everyone has their own reality of situations and i can't take that away from anybody i cannot take that away y'all know what y'all know what people say it's three sides to a story part the one person's side the second person side is the actual truth and i strongly do believe in that everyone has their own truth and who am i to tell somebody that their truth is not true because i can't tell you i mean i just know what like me so yeah anywho uh i want to brush my teeth because like i don't know if you guys watch me for real well i hope so because you watch me right now and this video is pretty short but, you know, I do, I do, you know, like I said, the internet's a weird place. I know some of you guys are watching me because you literally love me so much that you hate it. You love me so much that you actually hate it. So, but I hope not. I really hope not. I really hope I'm obnoxious to people, like how they say I am. And stay the hell away from me. <laughs> stay away from me because why would I want you to watch me, baby? I'm about to blouse. Oh, but like I was saying. So, this is my boyfriend's house. And I spend a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of time here. He spends a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of time in my house. Like, we're, like, always together. Oh, out of the week, we're probably not together two days. And the longest we don't be together is, like, four days. Like, we don't really go over four days. I don't know the last time I went over four days without seeing him. So, I came here, and I wanted a routine. I wanted to build a routine with the house because I have a routine with my house, but I don't have a routine with his house. And so... Therefore, when I'm here, I kind of just stay in the bed all day, roam, don't eat. Like, no, that's not the vibes. That's not what we're doing. Um, I am going to go to the grocery store right after I read Bible study. I don't have my Bible. After I read and journal. I need some avocados because I want some avocado toast. Avocado toast takes two seconds to make, but there is no avocados. I don't think I'm looking in the fridge, but I don't think so. And then I'm going to get to work. So... Yeah, because I need to get back to eating three times a day, eating good foods. I might just start eating vegetables, like, just because. Oh, she's back. I gotta go close the door. Oh, God, I'm thankful. This shit about to die, y'all. I gotta um, put it on the charger. Oh, I was enjoying talking to y'all. And my camera battery is in the car. I'm gonna just charge this battery and get back on the same battery in, like, 30 minutes. Hey, y'all, so I actually did get the other battery, but that thing was dead, too, y'all. But... I am getting ready <clears throat> to cook and go to church. Um, I have my pants on. I have pretty much every, the same thing I had on yesterday because I don't have any other, like, nice shirt here. And I'm already going to pull up a little bit later because uh, I'm not wearing no makeup, though. I am going to fix my lashes and do my eyebrows. Do my eyebrows. <laughs> so, yeah, that is going to be what I do to my face. But other than that, I ain't doing nothing. I'm about to go in there and make what I cooked Last night, I was going to go to the store and give me some avocado toast, but it's going to take too much time. I have to leave here in like 15 minutes, <laughs> and that's not going to happen. So, it just wouldn't it wouldn't work out, and I'm not going to leave in 15 minutes. I'm probably going to leave in like 20 to 30, because I still got to do my lashes, or I could just put these strips on. Ooh, he got, he got greens here, so I can cook those. Let me go get my water bottle. I'm actually rethinking, like, no lashes. No lashes. And where my, my glasses I got. It's always good to start your day with some water.
right, guys. Um, I'll be there at 12.30. So your girl gotta go real bad. Put this back on. I gotta get my, um, let me use his spray deodorant. Be a little tight because I stayed up late last night talking on the phone all night with my bestie. And then put on these glasses. It's habit trackers, like so much other stuff that I'm coming in. Y'all, right. yeah, I finally made it to the car, and what's crazy, this ain't my car, as y'all can see. It's my boyfriend's car, and I could not find my key. The whole time my key was in his car. I just found I just found it just now. But um, I was just watching jazz turner on youtube i don't know where to put y'all i was watching her on youtube and i just really 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 love watching people who keep me in that vibe I'm, take these off. I'm literally running out of storage so bad on this camera right now but i don't even remember what i was saying oh i like to watch people who can keep me like going um i like to watch youtubers okay yeah, that's what i was gonna say that are on a similar path as me like i'm 21 and i do not act like a 21 year old like for my birthday i barely wanted to drink it just wasn't what it was giving and i'm not trying to say like i don't want to drink i don't party i don't want to go to the club. Well, i don't want to go to the club but i'm never gonna go to the club again i like to have my fun in ways that make sense to me i don't want to celebrate and party when i have 200 dollars in my bank account i could be using that 200 dollars to make me more money not spend a hundred at the damn club that Lamborghini is small. Two hundred dollars at the uh, hundred dollars at the club. That just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, but after I complete seventy five hard, baby, we're going. We're going. We are going to turn up out the country. I don't know if y'all think it's like a game, <laughs> but literally the day after the challenge, the day after it ends, because I'm not gonna fail. Like I'm so far in. There's like I can't see myself failing. It's up up and it's stuck like beyond like oh my gosh i'm about to be so lit y'all gonna be like wow whoa <laughs> it's gonna be so fun because it's just like a reward it's a celebration going out and partying to me in my opinion is a celebration what are we celebrating what are we celebrating i don't understand like you out celebrating and clubbing but you was just crying yesterday i don't know it just doesn't make sense to me and if you feel some type of way about that, I'm sorry that you feel some type of way about that. That's just, no! Uh, uh. I almost missed my damn sorry. That's just how I feel about the situation. So, yeah. But it's my first time going to the church and I've never been there. We're gonna see how it goes. Um, I'm assuming it's pretty popular because it has it's pretty big and they got online church well the church got online church they a little bit because because how you get your camera to go live <laughs> but yeah i never know so we're gonna see y'all know i came from a big church um where i used to live at it was a big church there excuse me and they had multiple centers and i think this one has multiple too and i haven't really been too fond of like big churches like that that big because they tend to sell you a lot. And I don't know if y'all have ever experienced that. But like, have you ever been to a church that literally low-key forces you into giving? Like, what if I don't, what if I don't have it? But they like make you feel bad for not having it. Or you do because you do got some type of money and you're not giving it. Quote, unquote, to God. I don't know. It just doesn't, it wasn't really sitting right with me. And I followed the pastor's. On Instagram and she would get like so much like designer and stuff like that I don't know it's not terrible it's not bad I don't know it just wasn't my cup of tea it wasn't bad I just, I'd rather I want something a little bit more intimate um but I don't want to get too deep into all that because y'all know how people be mm -mm. but yeah that's 
it though. I was, I will let you guys know how it goes at the end. So next time I see y'all, it will be me checking in. Yo, y'all, there's no freaking parking. Like, this cannot be real. I'm not gonna turn around. Luckily, I got this big old big bike car. But hold on, y'all. I feel like I look crazy. So I'm gonna fix myself up and then go. Yeah, I'm out. I'm gonna let you guys know what I took away from it. Cause baby, when I tell you, all that matters is what God thinks of you, not what nobody else think about nothing at all. And that's been my rock. Like, I don't feel the need to come in, clear my name, justify, do all of it, blame somebody else. Like, girl, I don't have time. I'm good. I'm good. Because <laughs> when you're good with the Lord, nothing else truly matters. Nobody else's opinion really matters. Like, I genuinely feel peace near. I'm already peace now, but I know, like, even more peace near. So, I'm back in, and it's honestly so crazy, because there's going to be so much in this video that I'm going to cut out and not keep in, simply because, why is it not, all these damn lights not going on, oh, I don't even know how to work this car, but now, I'm trying to like I'm 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 kind of out of that because of what I just heard today and it just it made so much sense like I didn't join the church or anything though I did of course take away I like to do notes and I was looking at my notes y'all the last time I went to church was December 2022 so all of 2023 I did not go to church for real probably went like maybe once or twice but i did not go so the first day i'm back is 1 7 24 the first sunday and basically he was just saying like <clears throat> there was a scripture in the bible i didn't write down the scripture but it was more so like people came somewhere a different type of people jews all the people came somewhere and realized and was shocked that they were speaking the same native language okay and so he was basically saying I, he pretty much was saying people don't understand your native language we understand our assignment in our life and so the people other people is not going to understand your assignment they're not going to understand your language because they're not meant to understand it they don't see your vision they don't see your purpose they don't see what god has for you and he he, he brought it in with saying like uh, last year fifty thousand americans passed away from suicide <clears throat> And um, the reason that people like, you know, commit and stuff like that is because they don't see a vision. They've been living year after year after year with no purpose, feel like they're not needed. What's the, their point? And then that's what happens. <clears throat> and he was like, with God, when you praise God and you get in your word and you understand, you get a covenant such as get a church home and go every week and listen to God, hear God, you start to see your vision. You start to see that you're anointed, right? So that's what he brought it in with. Some people don't have that vision because they don't have that connection. And he said, don't read the comments. Stop reading people's comments. You're all focusing on five, it's five positive comments, so you're focusing on that one. And everybody in there is hollering because that's so true. People see so much love and just skip past all of it to reply to one hateful comment why like like what, what what's the reason it says you're on your assignment they're not going to understand you they're not going to understand your language when you're speaking to them it's going to seem like you're just tarnishing them you're just bashing them because they don't speak your language they don't understand what you are here to do what you are trying to do because they just don't speak that language and there's nothing you could do about that he was saying you don't hate them everyone's anointed even people who don't even go to church right now are still anointed he wants people to want you to tell people that they are regardless of where they are in life what they think whatever the case may be and he was like i'm 
not mad at nobody like i'm not mad at nobody i am so compassionate to people whenever there's a disagreement i always can acknowledge somebody else's point of view i never discredit nobody's point of view and i tell them it's okay that you feel that way i see you feel that way whatever the case may be and y'all y'all act like I, i've i've had my fair share of disagreements with people in my life people that i talk to to this day my boyfriend my friends my mom my stepmom i have a my fair share of disagreements with people and i never once say that they are just spit down spiteful evil dirty <clears throat> like I don't do that because again you don't speak my language you're not understanding what I'm saying and vice versa whatever but all I know is God is with me he was like anytime he sees something and he want to reply and like his flesh get the best of him all he in his head is God don't play about you he don't play about me I don't play about you like and just carry on because all that matters truthfully is what God thinks of you like I really want y'all to get that through y'all's gold peace right now like please do not worry about what nobody thinks about nothing you know you and god knows you and that's all it is everything else is other people's perception of you people's perception of you has not it has nothing to do with you it's none of your business what you think of me is none of my business it's really not so please just keep it to yourself i don't go out and comment on everybody's stuff and tell them what i think about them i don't really truly care because honestly i don't it's like that's wasting energy especially on people who again don't speak your native language so that's what he was going saying but um but i did receive a good word today pretty much all i took was when people don't understand you it's okay because they're just not speaking what you're speaking at this moment in time and there's nothing you can do about that there's nothing that they could do about that but continue to evolve and grow and get with god and we'll all be on one page one day like as long as they get in their word, of course. People get in their word, the world will be such a better place. But my camera is about to clock out. <laughs> but I'm about to head back to the house and get ready for my launch tomorrow. So I will see you guys when I do something else today. Hey, y'all. So it is 5.18. I'm about to go on my walk back in the house. And then I um, should be eating soon. My boyfriend going to come here and get us some food. So probably because I'm hungry and... I want something real good. I don't know. But yeah, I'm about to go to my walk. I've been listening to music while I was working, getting my launch ready. So when y'all see this video, baby, the launch is already out, honey. Like, go ahead and head over to the influential CEO. Ooh, influential, yeah, CEO on Instagram, having all the sauce, all the tea, everything. Me and Hazel, like I just said, we about to dip on out and do our 45 minute walk. It don't be bad at all, honestly. Um, I'm used to them now. I remember when I first started, dang, the 45 minutes felt like eternity. But now, they're cool. And I don't really think I want to have headphones when I walk. I think I'm going to just go like this. I don't even know if I'm going to wear a big jacket, but I probably will. I'm going to just... Oh, this is so cute. Uh, the bob, the bob with the beanie is eating is eating but i ain't gonna take them i don't i don't have nothing on my phone i kind of want to clear mine i want to go and have present time myself um i can't show you guys because i do walk in the neighborhood so it is what it is come on hazel where he put her leash he be cleaning up the room like the house but well, not cleaning up straightening up the house and then i don't be knowing where the tools be that i just used the night before so now i have to ask let me call <laughs> but i'll get back to you guys when i get in i do have to do another workout tonight but i'm gonna go ahead and get this one out the way now hey guys so it's a little later i came back from my walk this is not a workout i came back from my walk i'm sleepy too came back from my walk and now we have to eat all right guys this is nice so this is his about to eat i'm so sleepy